Hey everybody, it's Mike from Orderflows and welcome back to my channel. You know, it's been about a month since I've posted some videos because we've been working on the new version of Orderflows Trader. It's Orderflows Trader 8, which is the next generation of Orderflows Trader. And, you know, I'm excited about a lot of the new tools on there because I really think that it's going to help traders uh, with their order flow analysis. And, you know, one of the tools that uh, we've added on here is the Delta change uh, data, right? Because, you know, at the end of the day, all the information that you're looking at in the order flow, you know, what trades on the bid, what trades on the offer, how it trades, um, you know, with, in terms of volume is information, it's data, right? And from that data, you can extrapolate it into useful forms of analysis. And, you know, one of the sort of the, the basic tools of order flow is just the delta, right? So when you look at a bar, you see the bar's got delta of 245. Okay, like this green bar over here. And, you know, what that is, it's the difference between the net aggressive buying in a bar and the net aggressive selling in the bar. And it's 245. And generally speaking, you know, green bars have positive delta. Red bars have negative delta. You know, there are instances where you do have a green bar with negative delta or a red bar with positive delta. And that does mean something as well. But, you know, one of the the things with delta when, when you're looking at just raw delta numbers by themselves right you're just analyzing it on a bar by bar basis and you know while that's okay and you can make good trading decisions based off of that you know why not take it a step further and put it in context with what just happened on the previous bar so what we've added down here at the bottom is the delta change okay so you can see you know for example um, up here at this little, at this high here, okay, we've got positive delta of 437, and then the next bar's got a delta of 44. So it's both positive deltas, but there's an actual change from 437 to 44, right? It's negative delta of 393. Now it's still showing green because it is still positive delta. I didn't want to confuse people by changing that to a red color. Um, you know, we, we've all got eyes. We can see that it's a negative number. Okay, then you can see the next bar, it's got delta of minus 718, all right, so it's negative, but it's a change from positive 44 to minus 718, which gives you a change of 762 between the two bars. Now, don't get confused, because sometimes people will look at the delta change, and they're so used to looking at, say, the delta number or, you know, um, like the max min, that they see minus 393, then minus 762, and they sort of conflate it with, you know, that's the change from the minus, you know, here's 249 to minus 393 being 76, minus 760. No, it's not. It's the change from bar one to bar two in terms of delta. So you can see minus 718 to minus 522. Okay, that's actually a slight increase in delta to 196, right? It's still negative, but it's an increase when you know when you're looking at the number line from minus 718 to um, 522, uh, minus 522, which is positive 186, just as minus 522 to minus 391. <clears throat> it's an increase actually of 131. And you often see that as the market starts stalling, even though the deltas are negative, right? They're not really, um, growing in the negative sense okay so how, how can you use this well you know there's there's a couple ways one way that i like to use it right is is i like to look at how the delta is changing when we are coming into a swing high or say a swing low now the cash open over here you know it's monday morning um march 10th so you know, you see just a lot of delta coming in because the volume is increasing. But, you know, over here, it's about 15 minutes after the cash open. You know, markets are pretty much settled down and then they're sort of doing what they're going to do. And, okay, so we're coming into a swing high. You know, you got a nice positive delta up here at this high, 437. But then just noticing the delta change, right? It goes from 437 to just 44, obviously to minus 718. And I see that... Delta change is minus 393 right after the swing high, then obviously minus 762, which is quite strong. We get a nice little sell-off there. And, you know, over here, right, we got, you know, this nice little sell-off coming in here. Now, you know, what was interesting is this market is just more or less going sideways. Obviously, we got the big negative delta in this bar with minus 1313 delta. The delta change 
at minus 1500. I mean, it's a big change, but you know, these deltas have kind of petered out here. We're just, you know, 300 minus 391 plus 200 plus 200 and minus 13. It's already a big sign in, in the delta, but still, nevertheless, it is a strong, you know, delta change to the negative side. But then we come down in here to the swing low. We've got a delta of minus 628. And then this bar right here, plus 720. So it's a delta change from minus 628 back to zero plus 720, which gives you a delta change of 1348. Okay, and again, it doesn't look like much of a move here, but you know this market is pretty you know volatile here. And it's just this move from here is 93 up almost up to uh, double O, but it's up to 99. And that's a quick six uh, six points right there. Easy easy five points. Um, coming in. So that's how, you know, you could use things like delta change to analyze what's taking place in the market. Okay. And, you know, this is the E-minis, um, you know, and it, the same sort of concept is going to work in other markets. Now, this is the ultra bonds. Okay. And again, you know, I like looking at potential reversal signs, you know, somewhere, you know, at a high or at a low, you know, because, you know, anytime that I'm going to get some good information, you know, for potential trade, you know, I think reversals are a great opportunity to catch a major move. So if there's anything that's that I can glean from the order flow at a high of the day or, or the low of the day, um, you know, it's, I think it sets you up for a great trading opportunity. So we're up here at the high of the day and you can see the Delta positive 350, which is what you expect to see at the high of the day right nice strong positive right because we are going higher but obviously this candle reversed it's a red candle down actually at the high of the day but the delta is still positive okay so I, and again you know like i alluded to earlier sometimes you have bars that have you know a red candle with positive delta which is a sign of of some traders absorbing whatever aggressive buying is taking place here and then the next bar minus 202 so again you know what went what went on here we had positive delta of 350 then the next bar is minus 200 so it's actually a swing of minus 550 because it went from 350 down to zero and then down to minus 202 it gives you a change of minus 552 okay which is quite a strong number in terms of the deltas that you're looking at here in the ultra bonds then obviously the next bar you know really cements the fact that this market is selling off um goes from minus 202 to minus 927 that's a delta change of minus 725 but really the, the signs were up here right this is going to give you a nice trading opportunity where's your stop going to be it's just going to be above the high of the day right because you know you're looking for that reversal off of this high and you know it goes from you know 13 down to you know, six, seven, easily right there. But again, you know, that's how you can use the delta change to find, you know, potential reversals. Just as we're going back up here, back up into this high, obviously this bar here has got, you know, very strong positive delta of a thousand. You see the delta change of 876, which is a strong delta change. But to begin with, you know, a thousand is already um, a strong delta number. Okay. You do see a nice pickup here. Um, with the delta change percentage because now you can put that in a percentage as well okay so you know there's, there's different ways you could use that and you know to take it a step further what we've done with order flows trader is we've added it into the actual settings in here so if you were to scroll down into the indicator settings you could find um, where is it Delta change. Here we go. Delta change threshold. Okay. And again, yeah, you could filter it by coming in at swing highs when it comes in momentum. And you could adjust what you want your threshold to be. You know, what amount. You know, whether you know the default is 750. You know, if you're trading E mini, 750 is 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 good. Um you know, other markets, you might want to have a different number, you know, ultra bonds, I think 500 is good. And now you could have zone placement, you know, how you want to draw the zones out in the direction of the bar, opposite direction or both. I'll just put it on both here just to show you what it looks like. 
and just click apply okay and you're going to see here so it's red and blue okay so you can see it's coming in right here there's another one coming in here here's your bullish one coming in here okay yeah bearish one there um another nice bullish one coming in right here as we're breaking out into new highs it was a bearish one here followed by a bullish okay so again you know it's going to help you determine what's taking place in the market by reading the change in delta as opposed to just delta itself okay so it takes the delta analysis a step further you know and in my weekly uh training sessions that i do every friday for users of the order flows trader software i go over stuff like this on how you can use this how you can implement it in your trading to get the most out of all the tools because now we've got a total of like 56 tools in the order flows trader software so again you know if you enjoy these videos on order flow be sure to subscribe to the channel so when i post a new one you're going to be notified and if you like this video be sure to hit the like button right because uh you know at the end of the day that's what keeps me going is is um you know people's interest in order flow so thanks everyone and i'll see you guys on the next video